The Eight Banded Puzzle Ring by Peppy. Here's the ring as it comes apart. Let's jumble it up really good. And now you have to find the band that is stamped Sterling. Down on the bottom of the assembly there are three bands, one of which matches the Sterling band. You see it has that long flat surface and it matches hand and glove with the sterling still facing you. So the sterling bands are together. Down at the bottom of the ring assembly are two other bands, one of which is stamped Peppy right there. And notice how they are not completely flat, but have a dip in the center that corresponds to the top two bands. Now the middle bands have been jumbled up when these go together, all these bent portions have to fa create a diamond shape. And uh, this one is on the wrong side. So what you do is you pass it up and over and down on the opposite side of the sterling band. And if you manipulate these bands, you can see how they are paired as well. You've arranged the middle bands in that diamond shape. You grasp the peppy bands with the stamp facing you. The sterling stamp is facing you. You tip them up on the left and cross them there. And you create a figure eight, which you can sort of see here. And now you're set for the next step. The sterling band and peppy band are interlocked, making the figure eight. The middle bands have to be wiggled and manipulated into the center of the figure eight. It helps if you leave a little opening on the side of the figure eight that isn't interlocked, giving you more room to manipulate the bands, but eventually you get them all inside, all the bent parts inside like that. Step is to grab the band on the side that says Peppy, wiggle it, the tip of it up and over all the other bands, and tip it into place. It should fall into place without any problems assuming that the notches are matching up. If there's any problem, don't force the band. Turn the ring around. Get the tip of the next band up and over all the others. This is hanging up a little bit. Now here's a trick. You can use your little finger to help wiggle the other bands and then it falls into place. Turn to the other side of the ring. Grab the band on that side, making sure it goes. Now see this one has come out of place, so now I have to wiggle it back in place. And I open up the figure eight like that to give it more room. That one's in place. Now that one's in place. And notice how both of them can go into place at once if you're good. And here is your eight band back together again.